We are in the middle of the first truly global energy crisis, said the International Energy Agency, IEA, chief. Experts say that building more renewable energy will help us deal with the crisis. The energy price crisis was primarily driven by Russia's invasion of Ukraine and the subsequent rush for alternative supplies of coal, oil and gas. Sri Lanka's Prime Minister Ranil Wickremesinghe has said he has instructed the military and police to do what is necessary to restore order. Sri Lanka has plunged into the worst economic crisis since independence in 1948. Fossil fuel-driven inflation has prevented the people in Bangladesh from meeting their daily expenses. Thousands of protesters in Indonesia rallied against higher fuel prices, which increased more than 32% from the prior year. Around the country, the message is clear. Many people are worried about stagnant wages and the rising cost of living. Won Woo Yun is an activist with a major in philosophy who works for the Korean Federation for Environment Movements. The energy price crisis is a reminder of the fragility of an energy system based on fossil fuels. According to the IEA World Energy Outlook 2022, the global energy crisis is a stark reminder of the vulnerability of the current energy system. In order to move on from today's energy crisis, we must avoid yesterday's mistakes and new vulnerabilities arising. Let's remember the lessons learned from the Bangladesh protests, the civil unrest in Sri Lanka, just to name a few, caused by LNG's demand destruction leading to burdensome inflation for the people. The energy crisis promises to be a historic turning point towards a cleaner and more secure energy system. Global gas demand, driven largely by Asia, is expected to dip according to the IEA. In turn, a clean energy transition can help countries meet ambitious climate targets too. Clean energy transition refers to the energy shift from a fossil-based energy system to one dominated by renewable energy. The economic arguments in favour of cost-competitive and affordable clean technologies are now stronger. This alignment of economic, climate and energy security will see better and more just outcomes for the world's people and for the planet. It's real for for those that earn for you know not even a dollar a day or even to some extent like four or five dollars a day that becomes a major issue of course the easy answer is renewable energy right um it's 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 easy but it's hard and and i think in in most cases in southeast asia that's also the the, you know, the, the situation we're mainly dependent on fossil fuel the investments in renewable energy would need to triple in the coming years to reach net zero carbon emissions, as concluded by IEA. 
The question now is whether we will lean towards a cleaner energy system to tackle the crisis.